all right welcome back so now let us see how can we just come back to our original page by using browser navigation method for that there is again one more command in cypress um, let me show you that cypress go yeah so if you read this page there is a command called go which will help us to navigate back or forward okay or the previous next URL in your browser history now in our case if I want to go back to my the practice page I can simply say cy dot go back so that it will go back and if I come to forward again you can just use cy dot go off forward so that it comes forward you can read this page to understand how that go command works so using this concept I will simply say cy dot go back and that should go back to my original page. You can keep working on rahulshettyacademy.com only because that is our latest site and all updates will go on to that site only going forward. You will soon see QA Click Academy going off. I am going to sunset that probably by end of this year. But if you think that it's still not working on rahulshettyacademy.com link, then use this. I will make sure that this particular link is active. The only thought right now I have is that I deployed my latest website in AWS, Amazon Web Server. So there is some issue I think there, I have to fix it. But anyhow, if you, when you want to work on this example, for this specific example, you can use this URL, but for remaining everything, just stay on that website. Or all our latest updates will go on that URL only. RahulShettyAcademy.com is our main site. Anyway. So this will go back. But before I go back, I want to validate if I have successfully navigated to qaclickacademy.com or not. Okay. So we were clicking this, but there is no proof that I am successfully coming to this website or not using Cypress. So how do you validate you are on the right page? One simple validation is the URL. If you can get the URL and see if you are on the right page or not then that's it okay but how do you get or how do you retrieve URL using Cypress again there is one more command called cy dot URL we say yeah this is the command which will help you to get the current URL of the page that is active okay so before I click back to go back to my practice page, I will first grab the URL of the page where I am currently in. And now how to put assertion that if you are on qiclickacademy.com or not. So again, for should. So this time should be is generally having the behavior. Have is property, right? There is one more method called include. Okay, you can use this to verify the string whatever you pass as a second argument. So QA click Academy is your second argument in the should. So when you put include, this will check whether this string is included in this URL or not. Okay, it's like substring assertion. So we have seen assertions with their properties like have their behavior like whether it is visible or checked and this is like substring assertion where you are verifying whether the string whatever you passed is included in the string what cy.url written okay so our new url after we hit on this url is qiclickacademy.com right so qiclickacademy is the word in the middle so i have put that as a substring and I'm verifying whether this is present in the URL or not. We can do that with include, no down. Right now we have seen three different assertions, include, be, have, and also we have seen how to compare two strings. Okay, so these are pretty much we require when you are dealing with Cypress. Nice, so you have put an assertion to verify if it's correct. Only if it passes, this will go to the next step and it will navigate back to our main site. So let's save this whole project 
and see how it goes on our execution. Okay, so it clicked on that browser and now it's trying to click back. Perfect, we launched back to our main website, practice. Look at here, expected qaclickacademy.com as a URL, which we were checking whether this string is including in this or not, okay? Thereafter, we are clicking on the back button and now we navigated to the uh, new URL of practice.php. Okay, so this is how you can work with browser navigations and you can, this is how you can get URL and you can put substring assertions. I hope you got enough knowledge from this lecture and the previous lecture on handling string subchild windows. Okay, but if you remove this, let's say for example, remove this and if you simply click on that, child window will open but cypress will not switch to child window and it will not have any knowledge it will let's see what happens why should i talk about that look at this it opened in child window okay but nothing happens where is your actual test validation okay you see that how flaky your test is when you try to open in another server. So add it back and then everything will go smooth now. Okay, so let me start test four again. So that's all I have guys for this lecture and we will actually meet with one more new topic in the next lecture. Okay. So let's see the execution to make sure nothing is breaking. Perfect. It's on the child window and now it's coming back to the previous window. Nice. So see you in the new topic in our next lecture. Thank you.